Welcome to today's C5 demo from Introspect Technology. Today we'll be showcasing the SV3C test system, both in its generator option and analyzer option for the C5 protocol. Specifically today, we'll talk about some enhanced topics, uh, advanced topics, including enhanced triggering and advanced pattern generation. So for today's test, the generator will actually be programmed to create a complex pattern that, you know, that mimics more and more uh, CSI frames or, or, or actual payload frames. Uh, the packet that will be, the pattern that will be produced uh, will start from a stop state and it will produce non-identical packets in the manner shown. Each packet will be four words long, it will be short, um, and then the packet payload itself will be changing uh, by incrementing from one packet to the next. So the first packet will have payload data of value 1, the second packet will have payload data of value 2, the third packet will have payload data of value 3, and so on. And so that's how the generator is programmed. And then in the uh, analyzer, we'll perform an automation loop that basically uh, triggers captures on each one of these individual packets to identify them and inform us that the payload has really incremented the way we wanted it to. In terms of hardware setup, it's the same as most demos we've uh, done for C5 so far. The generator is shown on the top side here, and the analyzer is right next to it. Both are capable of transmitting and receiving uh, 12 wires, basically, four trios at three wires each, uh, respectively. And so these are the 12 wires going on the high-density connector uh, through the NXP uh, cables. And then, as mentioned previously, the generator has a replica channel that's produced and displayed on the scope so that we can see what it's performing while um, doing a real automation test. And all of this will be controlled with respect ESP software. So we'll go ahead and start the demo now. So as always, we have the uh, generator window on the left here where the uh, introspect ESP software is connected to the generator. And then the second instance of introspect ESP software is connected to the analyzer. And what is uh, special about uh, this case is that uh, basically we will be triggering again on the first 10 packets of that complex pattern that I mentioned. And we'll ask the data capture tool in the analyzer to capture in trigger, triggered mode as before. But now uh, when it comes to capture type, it will capture on a specific packet index. And so we'll be incrementing this packet index as we go from 1 to 9, basically, uh, as per this loop uh, here. And uh, we'll be performing captures and confirming that the packet payload is indeed incrementing properly. So we'll go ahead and start the generator. It's now waiting for the analyzer, so we'll start the analyzer. And so as mentioned, these packets are actually more complex packets. They, they start from the stop state and they end in the stop state, so they're not looping packets uh, as before. And in each burst, basically, they, they send a series of packets with large, with incrementing payload data. Uh, so we're now going through iteration number seven. In a couple of iterations, will be done. And so the analyzer has completed its uh, data collection portion of this exercise and it displays the data capture icons um, as well. So uh, we'll click on the first icon here. And so the first thing we'll see is that it's telling us that it's received four words inside that packet. And, and that is what we expected. That's what we programmed the generator to do, is to generate only a short packet with four words in it. If we scroll to the sync word, uh, we look now at the payload data. And if you look at the payload data in decimal form, Basically, the packets contain the number 1. And again, this is what we wanted the generator to do. We wanted it to start with the first packet having payload values equal to 1. And so we'll now look at the second capture and then look at it. So first of all, it has four words in it as before. And then the second packet payload data is now 2 instead of 1, which means that the generator indeed incremented its payload in the second packet to be the value 2, and the analyzer was able to detect it. If we look at the third packet, again, four packets received, and then the payload itself is the value 3. 
So we've done very quickly and basically confirmed that the captures are uh, incrementing as desired. And as always, as true to the introspect uh, technology uh, way of doing things, we strongly believe in automation. And so what we've done is we also created an automatic plot that basically confirms that the received packet number is identical to the desired packet number and even performed the pass-fail check in the log that the packet payload is incrementing correctly. So here you go. This is advanced triggering capability of the introspect CPI tools.